Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dollar Tree haul. We have so many items to show you today that we're just going to jump right on into it and hopefully we will be able to get through everything in a fairly short amount of time. So let's start off with some household stuff. I bought some Nest Tea Raspberry Tea. Now the raspberry teas, the strawberry watermelon, all of those are pretty good flavors from the Dollar Tree. Nest Tea and Brisk are name brands, so you can trust those. And these are very popular here around my household. So we buy lots of these these days. Here is a household product. This is their version of Pine Sol. It is Pine Glow. It's an antibacterial kitchen and bathroom cleaner and disinfectant. And when I can't get to the grocery store to buy Pine Sol, I will use this in a pinch and it is not too bad. Here is a food product. I wanted to tell you guys about these. They are glazed lemon flavored pies from Tasty Cakes. Now I'm not a huge lemon fan, but my mom is. So I wanted to do a taste test of these and see if I like them. And to me, they taste more vanilla than lemon. So I actually kind of like this. So if you get a chance to try them, then let me know what you think in the comments down below on our videos. Here is another food item that I purchased and it is Del Monte and it is sliced peaches. And with it being a Del Monte brand, you can always trust a name brand. And at the Dollar Tree, you always need to check the labels for expiration dates. And this is best by August 1st, 2019. So I have plenty of time to use these Del Monte peaches and I think they will be pretty good. Here are some fun items that I have found and I will show you this card so you can see all the different ways to wear this hairband. Now these are pretty neat. This is the third one that I have bought. The first one I gave to my mother and then I purchased this one and I'm loving the wild 80s pattern there. And then just a few days ago, I found this one and it looks like a red bandana. And so I've taken it out of the package just because I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. Now, any way you can imagine to wear this in your hair, they have shown here on this card. So no matter if your hair is long or short, I think you will like these if you wanna pick them up at least give them a try for a dollar. You can't beat it. Okay, here is a food item that I've been on the hunt for. This is called Hanky Panky. And if you like Fiddle Faddle, you're going to like this product. This is like chocolate covered Fiddle Faddle. And it's just chocolate drizzled caramel corn with peanuts. So I have been seeing ladies haul this and I wanted to try it if I could find it and the store that I shopped in the other day actually had lots of this. So I picked up four bags and out of four bags I have half of this bag left. So you can tell that we really enjoyed it. So pick Hanky Panky up. You will not be disappointed with that, I promise. As long as you like chocolate and you like Fiddle Faddle, you will like that. A name brand household product. This is Dawn Dish Soap, so you can't go wrong with that. It is the trial size, but for a dollar, it saves me from having to go to the grocery store and pick that up. So I picked up one of those today, or not today, but the other day when I was at the Dollar Tree. Now, I think I'll show you this when I pick up all the other stuff. So this right here is something to clean our grill with. It is a scouring pad. It says grill scrubber and it just has a handle on the back there. So I did pick that up for Will to clean our grill with. Tried to make it a little bit easier for him. Here is another household product, an old standby for us. This is the four pack of toilet tissue. It is better than Angel Soft and probably not quite as good as Charmin, but it does the trick and I buy lots and lots of this from the Dollar Tree as well. Now this, I really, really like, however, it spilled in my bag. So it's kind of yucky right now. But this is the Clar and Denver liquid hand soap. It's ocean breeze, but my bathroom is done in this color of blue. 
So I really like this just to use in there. Um, I will purchase it to use in the rest of the house, obviously, but specifically to go into my bathroom. I just like it a lot better when it doesn't leak in my bag, though. All right, so my old standby of coffee cups. We keep these by our Keurig. If someone wants a quick cup of coffee, then they can use these cups. They are styrofoam. It's a 20 ounce cup and a 20 count. So we use lots of those here in this house as well. Here is another food item. It is mushroom stems and pieces. And these are always fresh from the Dollar Tree. I have never had any issue with them. I am looking for an expiration date. And I can't find one right off. But we use these a lot. I make lots of omelets and things with mushrooms. And I really, really like these. Never had a problem. Anything you buy like that food item, always check your dates no matter where you buy it. Let's do another food item and kind of get some of this stuff out of the way. And then we'll get to some fun stuff. These tortilla chips are bite size. They are the Home Style Select brand. I really like these quite a bit. Um, we buy them a lot. I have lots of dips and salsas in my refrigerator right now. And so we needed some tortilla chips to dip all of our stuff with. And yeah, so I like these a lot. They are always fresh as well. So I have Piper down here in my lap. You can't see her, but she's enthralled with everything I'm saying. And she's just, you know, like right in the middle of it. So she's entertaining me. Okay. So these paper towels, these are the Mega My Size brand. 210 sheet paper towels. Now, we buy these a lot too when we can find them because you get 100 more sheets in this roll than you normally would in what they normally sell at the Dollar Tree. So we buy paper towels left and right at my house. And so I'm always picking up at least two or three rolls every time I go. But I like those better just because you get more sheets in a roll. Let's see here. A hygiene product. If you're going to use baby powder as a hygiene product, please get the kind with cornstarch, not the kind with talc in it. This is Angel of Mine brand cornstarch baby powder. And for a dollar, you can't go wrong there. I needed some crayons, but Crayola Skies for a Thousand Miles really wanted Crayola brand crayons. However, they have not been selling the crayons here lately. They do have Crayola brand chalk and paint. But I'm going to use these for a project, so it doesn't really matter if they color or not. I just needed a lot of crayons, and so this is a 48 count by Jot. And if you're going to buy them, this even has the little pencil sharpener, her crayon sharpener there at the bottom. But I don't need these to color. I just need those to be able to stick to something for my craft project. I'm having a throwback to the 80s and 90s here. I needed a little idea book, so I thought this would be perfect. I just love the color of it. The cover is so cute. It's so bright. It's just lined notebook paper, and I'm going to use this as an idea book. But it reminds me of my youth, so I'm all about that these days. Anything that's bright, vibrant colors and just fun stuff, then I want it. Okay, so I am what you call a wannabe crafter. I have all the crafting equipment and I even have a craft room, but right now it is my room that is a catch-all place for everything from when I moved into this house. And so I'm unpacking it slowly but surely and putting it up. And one day I'm going to get back into my craft room. And when I do, the Dollar Tree will have supplied me with stickers galore and all kinds of fun stuff to use in it. So this is a self-inking stamp pad. It, it just says XOXO, and I thought that it was really, really cute. And so I do make cards when I can get in there, and I will use that in card making. All right, I have three of the candles everybody's been hauling. I thought they were super cute, and I wanted them too. I do have a sign that says, You Are My Sunshine, with these colors. And so I thought that would be really nice to set there beside it in my craft room. This one says Free Spirit. And of the three, it smells the best. It smells really clean. And then, of course, this one says Hello Gorgeous. And I really, really liked it as well. 
it has more of a berry flavor or scent to it, I believe. Okay, more craft room stuff. If you've ever used this, please let me know in the comments if you think it works pretty well. I'm going to be gluing those crayons with it, so I hope it will stick. This is the original super glue, it says. It is a fix-all adhesive. And so, I hope it will stick to everything that I need it to stick to. Alright, so we're moving right along. Here is another household item. I got two packs of these light bulbs. There are two to a pack. These are 100 watt bulbs. These are the frosted kind. Now I have never had an issue with a Dollar Tree light bulb. I'm sure they don't last as long as something that you may purchase at Lowe's or Walmart or someplace like that, but I've never had an issue with them, so I will occasionally buy a light bulb from the Dollar Tree. Another household item. This is a bonus pack of the heavy duty scouring pads. You get five instead of four. I use these to do my dishes and I usually take a couple of these pads out and keep them in my bathroom to clean the tub with. But if you're gonna use them for your tub or your sink, then be very careful and don't scrub super hard because you don't wanna scratch anything. All right, let's see. Let's get them to some fun stuff over here. Okay, so I've already told you guys that I'm a card maker. So when I can get into my craft room, I will have plenty of pretty stickers for my cards. These are all Jot brand. This one is a package of eight stickers and it just says nature. And I will try to hold that up there and maybe it will focus in for us. This one is probably my favorite of all of them. It is the travel set. So I thought it was really nice. This one is quite cute as well. I like the one that says, you make me smile. Here is another that I'll show you right fast with the butterflies. And I don't know if you can see the bird up there. Reminds me of Twitter. And then this one is a family set and a cooking set. So I thought it was cute as well and then this one just says wonderful down here and it's got some birds so I thought those were sweet little stickers and they will be great when I can get back into my craft room and make my cards again I'm just learning how to do that and so I really really enjoy it these right here are for another floral project so I don't know if you can tell how long these actually are, but they're quite tall. I have a vase in my foyer that I'm going to stick these in. Now I'm going to spray paint these all the same color and then put those in that vase. And there's six bunches of these. I really need about six more just to have some fullness in that vase. But this is all that my Dollar Tree had. So we're going to make do with what we got and spray paint all of those. And I think it'll look really nice when I get it done. Here is another food item. These are Lance Toasty Crackers. It's just peanut butter and crackers. And Lance is a pretty good little name. And so I got these for my mom to have as a quick snack. Let's see. Let me show you these next. These I think are really, really cute. So this is nine... This one's six feet of diamond wrap in hot pink. This one is nine feet of just the clear diamond wrap or sparkly diamond. And this one is six feet of the teal or turquoise. And so these are great for scrapbooking and for different crafts and bow making. And so I thought those were really pretty, all three of those colors together. And that seems to be what I'm decorating my craft room in. So I think I will like that a lot. Here is a 5x7 frame that I have not seen anybody haul this particular one yet. Try to get it close enough for you to see the texture. The Dollar Tree is really stepping up their game on things like signs and picture frames these days. So if you're looking for an inexpensive frame, then please do check them out. They have lots of pretty gold frames right now. They have several cute silver frames. And then they always have the standbys of the blacks and the browns. But they have lots of nice stickers, frames, signs, flowers, all kinds of stuff like that right now. 
So it's definitely worth checking out. Okay, so speaking of flowers, I have a whole bunch of stuff going on here. So I am working on another flower um, project, another floral project. And so I have a crystal vase that has some blue flowers in it. And I wanted to know what I could stick in the bottom to hold all of these sprigs together. So some of you guys had suggested I look at these floral gel beads. And so I ended up buying two of these. And they look like little glass marbles. I don't know if you can tell there, but I did buy two of these and they will hold all these sprigs together. So with my blue flowers, I wanted to add a touch of pink. So I bought three sprigs of these lilies. Now they need to be fluffed out because they have been squished down in the bag. But I did get three of those. And then I bought three sprigs of the pink berries. So I think that will give my blue just enough of a, a color to contrast to be really, really nice. So when I get all of that done, since you guys have been giving me suggestions on what to put in there, I will show you the finished product of that. Here is another food product. I have not tried this Tip Top Tomato Juice. It is from Concentrate. If you guys have tried this product, then please comment down below and let me know what you think of it. I love tomato juice, so I hope that will taste pretty good. I'll give you a review of that in other videos. All right, so we're down to really our last couple of items. Here is another frame. This one is a four by six frame from the Dollar Tree. It has a white mat around it, so I really, really like that. I did get this for a craft project, so if I decide to not use it, for my craft then I would use this in my home elsewhere but I really really like it because of that mat so that is a four by six frame the other was a five by seven these little gumballs are perfect for the little gumball machines that I was going to show you my gumball machine but it's so far out of reach that I would have to get up to get it but it takes two bags of these gumballs to kind of fill up the little gumball machines if you buy them from the Dollar Tree. So that is Double Bubble, a name brand. So it is a pretty good little project, or project, a pretty good little product. And they do get hard after you chew them a while, but I think that's just normal. But it's Double Bubble, so can't go wrong with that. Now these, I believe I saw Teresa haul these the other day. I have some rolling luggage, some duffel bag type luggage that match these perfectly. So when I saw her haul these, I was like, I have got to find those. And I think these will be perfect to drop some of my little products down into, into my luggage when I get to go on trips. So I thought those were really cute. This right here is an exfoliating glove. I don't think that it's abrasive enough for my body, but I do think it will be perfect for my face after I take my makeup off. And I'm all about that blue, so I think that will be perfect for an exfoliating glove. Okay, this right here is kind of messy, kind of dusty, so be careful what you set these on. But these are some cute little white rocks. And this bag is so heavy, I think I could probably use this for maybe two craft projects. But I have something to use these for already. And I think these will be perfect. And for a dollar, you can't beat that. They just kind of sandy, so be careful. Alright, just a couple more food items and some cards and we are done. These right here are very, very tasty. These were coming in different flavors and in bigger bags but they're harder to find these days. So if you find these at all, grab you some and give them a try. They are perfect for dips and you can even eat them as a snack all by themselves. So these are, let me tell you, they are the Seven Days brand. These are bagel chips and this is a roasted garlic flavor. So do pick those up if you see. All right. Okay, so you guys know I like to snack that I call my concoction. And actually all my concoction is, is banana chips, some dried fruit, and different flavors of the Dollar Tree trail mix. And I mix all that together and it makes a great snack. It makes a lot of product. 
So I do that because it's cheaper to mix it all together with stuff from the Dollar Tree than it is to buy it in big quantities at the grocery store. So I have tried to pick up different things to stick into my concoction. These are dried apricots that I had seen and it's by the Nutty Naturals brand. And I have not tried them before. So again, if you guys have, tell me what you thought of them down below in the comments. This is dried pineapple that I'm going to put into my concoction. I got the chocolate nut, chocolate and nut trail mix. This is Nature's House brand. So that will go into my concoction. And then my banana chips, of course. And I was having a hard time finding my banana chips. These are Nature's House. They generally carry them at every Dollar Tree and they usually have tons and tons of these. There for a while they were getting hard to find, but they have been restocked in all of my stores. So that made me very, very happy. Our last thing to show is a set of blank cards. These are eight for a dollar. It says warm thoughts can make the sun a little brighter, the sky a little bluer, and the world a little nicer. So I thought these cards were really, really sweet. I have some YouTube buddies that I want to send these to that I have been thinking about a lot lately. And I'm very, very, very bad with cards and stuff like that, even though I make them. Sending them is a whole different story. So until I can get in there to make some, I want to send these to my buddy. So hopefully I will get these out in the mail this next week. But that does it for me, guys. That is a huge Dollar Tree haul. I am glad to have gotten through all of that in one video. We are just over 20 minutes, so that's not too bad for as much as we had to show. Hope you guys are going to have a fabulous weekend. It is Father's Day this weekend, so please go out and spend some time with your dad and all of those people that you love. I hope you have a great weekend, a safe weekend, and we will catch you for our next video.